Before we start today's video, I wanted to address a few comments that I received yesterday. Yes, I actually read the comments, but was unable to respond to them because of yesterday's prior arrangements I had with family. Some indicating that just because you're on a hormone, you don't lose weight, and that I somehow said that in the video. I did not. Nor did I say it would work for everyone. In fact, I believe I used the hashtag not all to explain that it doesn't work for everyone. I could not have been more clear on that. And to those that implied that I did, you are wrong. Or outright said that I did. You are wrong, okay? Now moving on from that, I had intended on doing something we had not done on this channel for probably a year, which would be a response video to a tweet put out by AJ+. Plus, a video on white feminism which is truly hilarious when you think that AJ Plus is essentially funded by the Qatar government, and they, by extension, are bleating on about white feminists. And equality. I'm not sure they have much of a leg to stand on. Certainly if integrity counts for anything, you have none. And if anyone is interested in me doing that, I will of course cover it tomorrow. Now instead of covering that subject, we are instead going to address an article from another one of those lovely little injustices that crops up in my country where a boxer mum, dubbed the secret assassin, not such a secret now of course, who battered a schoolgirl aged 11, leaving her covered in blood, was fined 120 pounds. I'm not sure why this fine is all that this mother got, but I would surmise one of the reasons she only got the fine was because she is a mother, not that I for even a second would trust her around children anyway. And I would be very surprised if child services were not involved in her life, because if she is so willing to cross the line with someone that is not her child, it is reasonable to assume that she will eventually cross that line when it comes to disciplining her own children. And one would certainly be right to assume that because of the damage done to the 11 year old, pictures of which I am not showing in this video, that she could do the exact same to her children. Hence, I would not trust her to be around a child now, after doing some digging, I did notice that quite a number of instances where this had happened, yet there's more than one case, imagine my shock, that the sentences were quite small. So I thought I'd look at what the sentencing guidelines are for things like this. In this instance, it's battery, it's actual bodily harm, which carries with it a fine of up to £2,000 and a sentence of between 24 weeks and two years in custody. All this person got was £120 fine. To me, that seems remarkably inadequate, especially when you consider the damage done to this child as a consequence psychologically, to the point where she refuses to leave the house, which is referenced in the sentencing structures, where there is mention to serious psychological harm, where it says, where there is an especially serious physical or psychological effect on the victim, even if unintended, this should increase sentence. Well, something they should have considered was the fact that while she was fined £120, which will buy all the plasters in Poundland, it certainly won't dent the cost of a decent psychiatrist this girl will undoubtedly need to be able to leave the house again. And yes, I am well aware some of that is freely available on the NHS, but I dare anyone to try and get an appointment. Seriously, it is nigh on impossible, spoken from experience. So now I want to go back to the article and read a series of quotes that the article references as far as the events go. Jade fractured Keisha's nose. She had a bruised and bloodshot eye, which took a long time to heal. She had scratches all over her body and bruises on her back and arms where she had been kicked. I was livid. I wanted to do the same to her that she'd done to Keisha, but common sense kicked in. I knew I needed to show Keisha that you follow the right processes. I knew I couldn't retaliate. I just want to make this clear now. Based on something you say later, I'm more inclined to believe it was because you knew this person would kick the living crap out of you, and not because of common sense. Although I'm inclined to believe, ever so slightly, that it was partially common sense. But mostly, you knew what would happen. It would be inevitable that this woman would kick the crap out of you too. I kept saying to her, she'll definitely get prison time for this. When she was given the fine and no jail sentence, I couldn't believe it. I bet it makes you wish you had attacked her now. The judge who also watched the CCTV footage in court gave her a fine. How is that justice for attacking a minor? 
based on the guidelines, I'm in your corner here. She should have gotten a far more significant fine, and I honestly believe either a suspended term of up to a year or six months in prison, at least. The fine should have been more substantial to cover costs for psychiatrists, but also because, quite frankly, you beat a child. I know some will say there's nothing wrong with beating a child. I think there's a line between that kind of parental beating, where everyone couldn't sit down for a week because of a wooden spoon on the back of their legs, and beating someone so bad they bleed, they're scared to leave the house. They are psychologically traumatised beyond a point, and I'm not trying to justify either instance of beating. I do not support it at all. Videos on Facebook show Binch sparring in a boxing ring, and she was dubbed the secret assassin by her coach. Well, I don't think she's a secret assassin. I think she's a fucking idiot. Keisha and Binch's daughter had been best pals before falling out in March of last year. Tiffany said, They'd been at my house for dinner before the attack happened. There was a big group of them out, and Jade's daughter had fallen out with her boyfriend. Keisha went over to tell him everything would be alright, and Jade's daughter just said, I'm going to tell my mum. If that is what started it, then I think there is a real issue here with what kind of friend you have, and how you perceive that friendship. Keisha rang me panicking, saying her friend's mum was coming down to her. I just reassured her, thinking what mum was going to do anything to a child. The rest of the group started walking to the shop. Jade then pulled up and got out of the car and assaulted her, something which the mother, Jade, denies. As Keisha lay injured on the pavement, passers-by came to help her and called the emergency services. It's a shame no one saw this and acted to stop it. I'm also partially surprised that nobody pulled out their phone and captured it that way, for additional evidence purposes, instead of just having the CCTV, although I'm sure many would be grateful that we have that in this particular circumstance. The rest of the time, though, no, no. Do what others do with speed cameras and street cameras and simply fill them with expanding foam. Jade Binch has since come out, as I earlier stated, to deny this, saying the information Tiffany is stating isn't true. I was convicted of assault by beating, which can mean as much as a finger being put on somebody else. I haven't beat her daughter. The information is incorrect. People can think what they like. I know what's what. She can make whatever allegations that she likes. Well, you pleaded guilty to one charge of assault by beating, and the total sentence was a community order for six months, and to participate in rehabilitation activities for 10 days, along with fines of £120, cost to the CPS of £250, and a surcharge to the government of £100. I've got to say, the community order is a bit of a cop-out. And rehabilitation activities for 10 days? I wouldn't be surprised if all they did was simply give her a stress ball and say, here, play with that for 10 days. Although if she didn't turn up, I'd be equally surprised if anyone bothered to go and get her to do it anyway. My sentence for you, by the way, is the maximum £2,000, and either a custodial term of 6 to 12 months, or a suspended sentence for 2 years. Fuck community orders. Fuck rehabilitation. I couldn't care less about rehabilitation in this case. I'm sure that it would work for the majority of cases where this happens, but you assaulted a child over something as remarkably petty as talking to an ex-boyfriend. To me, this shows you are fickle beyond belief. Anyway, I hope everyone has a lovely Monday, and thank you all for listening. I've got downs. In your ass. Imagine my shock. <laughs>